Good morning. So I've been listening to Joe Biden. First, I want to tell you about a very good friend of mine and his wife. Well, they are both good friends. We know them very well. Uh, they are playing golf, right? And she, the wife is playing golf with female friends every week. Uh, they have been doing this for a long, long time. They also go out to eat at restaurants and they were planning some trip together. And then last week they were playing golf and she noticed that there was something wrong. Yeah. And then after they finished, two of them, two of the other ones, the females, came over to her and said, you can't be part of this anymore. Yeah, because you didn't take the shot. No. Uh, of course, she got very, very sad. Uh, my girlfriend got very sad when she heard about this. I, I got so pissed off. And my friend got very pissed off about this. Yeah. I mean, who is doing something like this? I know that they will regret it someday uh, when they realize what they did. I mean, what about decency? These women, they took the shot, all of them. And uh, I suppose they believe this will protect them. But still, they are kicking her out. See? Yeah, it's amazing. People don't think. <laughs> it's crazy. I, I have to remind myself about how these people operate. You know, they are... This is not an excuse for them, not at all, but they, they are so afraid. They are in some sort of a panic. And then they will do something like this, right? Yeah. And they don't know. You see, they follow mainstream media. They don't know about political leaders masking up before a press conference. They never saw it, right? Because media doesn't show it. They don't know about side effects much. They heard of a few cases, maybe. People actually dying from taking the shot. Maybe they know that there are very, very few cases of this. They don't know. And they actually believe that this is about a virus. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not. It's not about a virus. No. This is not a question of health, but they believe it. Yeah, they believe that they are in danger if they play golf with this woman, this fantastic lady, who just decided not to take the shot. You see, and they will not respect this at all. They kick her out. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah, I've been listening to Joe Biden. First, I heard him say this. 350 million U.S. citizens have been jabbed. <laughs> this is so funny. Yeah. I don't know how, exactly how many people live in the United States, but I think it's less <laughs> than 350 million. Or maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Yeah. And then he promised 100 U.S. dollars to everybody who takes the jab from now on. Yeah, paid by the taxpayers. Here you go. You took the jab. Very good. Here's your hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, not those who took it already. No, just those who take it from now on. You know what I think is going on here. Uh, first of all, I I strongly believe this. They know what is going on. These political leaders, they know exactly what's happening here. They know it's not about health. Yeah. That's number one. And the, the second one, I think it's a game, you see, between these leaders, right? It's like this game that we used to play. Uh, you have this bucket, right? And then you have ten pine cones, and you throw these pi pine cones trying to hit the bucket, right? from a distance. Yeah, very simple game. But it's quite fun. Yeah. And then you walk over to the bucket to see how many pine cones you got in there. This is what they are like playing. You see, these guys. 
And then you have Macron, you know, throwing these pine cones and this guy in Australia, uh, Morrison, right? Netanyahu, Boris Johnson, Joe Biden, all of them throwing pine cones. And then you see um, uh, the Israeli leaders bragging about how many pine cones he got in. Yeah, look, see, almost all of them, I got them. And then Joe Biden, he will be embarrassed because he only got four of them in there. You see? So they are trying hard now to get these numbers up. This is their duty. Yeah. This is how they play the game. Get the numbers up. No matter what. Yeah. Uh, they are talking about making it mandatory. Yeah, that would be very good. Then would we get a lot of these pine cones in there, right? And Macron is trying so hard to force the French citizens to take the shot. And you know, Australia is a good example. I, I heard this, not very many took the shot in Australia. And this leader in Australia, Morrison, uh, he will be embarrassed about this. He's not a good leader, you see. He's not looking good in front of the other ones. That's what it looks like to me. All right, finally I want to recommend the channel. This is a Swedish channel, Johanna Lilje Gren. Uh, speaking in Swedish. I just like her very, very much. She's honest, she's bright, she's funny. Uh, she's doing good research. Yeah. Johanna Liljegren. Uh, I will post the link so you can check it out. Alright. Bye.